Hey there y'all, this is Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Bespangled Jewelry. I've got a fun project for you today. I'm going to show you how to make these cute little pendants using glass vase gems and nail polish and a handmade bale that I'll show you how to make in another video. Starting with these vase gems, you can find them at any craft store in the floral department. Um, they're very inexpensive, easy to find. And the first thing we're going to do is paint the flat side of one of these with some clear nail polish. And we need to let this dry completely. You might want to make some more while you're waiting. As soon as it's dry, I'm going to take my Sally Hansen nail art pen. I'm using red and silver. You can use any color you want, and there are a ton of awesome colors. These things are so much fun. Shake it up, prime it. I'm, I'm working on a piece of wax paper. And then you can just draw the design onto the back of the gem. If you get an air bubble, just take a toothpick and pop the bubble so, you, so it'll dry nice and smooth. I'm taking my silver color and shake and prime the pen and I'm just going to make some little dots. Um, you can use these pens to draw with, to write, any design that you can imagine. Now, of course if you don't want to purchase these pens you can use nail polish and just dip a toothpick in like I'm doing. This is a toothpick that has a flat end that might be a little better than one that's really sharp. Now we need to let this dry about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure it's completely dry. I'm just using some black glitter nail polish. I like the black because it makes the color really pop out. And I'm just going to paint one coat and I will do a second coat if it needs it. And I think we're good. If you're using a more translucent polish, you probably want to do two coats. Let it dry completely. We're going to add the bale. This is called an Anraku bale or a glue on bale that you can purchase. And this is one that I made. And I'm going to link to that other video in the comment section below so that you can see how to make one. Or this technique will be the same if you choose to purchase a ready made bale. This E6000 industrial strength adhesive. Just going to blob it on there. Make sure it gets in all the little crevices. Find where the placement's going to be and press it on and then just press and hold about 15 to 20 seconds. And then leave it to dry. Need to let the adhesive cure completely. It's going to be several hours before you can do this next step. Make sure it's not moving at all when you touch the bale. And just take the clear nail polish and paint over the black polish and around the edges of the bale where the bale touches the back of the cabochon. And you can go ahead and paint over the coil part or the back of the bale and around the edges. If you have any polish that's on the edges where it shouldn't be, you can just wipe that off with uh, like a Q-tip and some nail polish remover. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun with this project. If so, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. You can find me online at all these places. I hope you'll visit jewelrytutorialhq.com. See you next time.